morning and welcome to our you uh, RC Kids YouTube channel. Um, Saturday morning and um, we're going to do uh, a little dirty paw with my able assistant Leo Leo this morning. Um, Leo's favourite colours are black and orange so I've never done one without white before so we're going to try a black and orange one this morning. So what I've mixed up I've got some black acrylic and I've got my uh, silicon oil in there and I've also got my acrylic water borne conditioner which just sort of liquefies it a little bit more in terms of the viscosity, so that's already pre-mixed. Uh, I've got a pure orange acrylic straight out the tube, mixed with the silicon oil and the uh, conditioner. Then we've tried to get some, uh, some different tones of orange, so we've mixed one up using yellow and red, obviously, remember your, um, your colour mixing theory from school. So we mixed that one up, and we've got one here sort of almost like the tertiary, so in between. So this is a yellowy orange, so there's a lot more yellow than red in this mix. Remember, your yellow and red make your orange, okay? And each of these have the silicon oil and the acrylic conditioner in there. So we've got our little canvas boards, yeah? Probably cheaper than using the little box board canvases. You buy these in a pack, you can get them from Amazon. Got my little, little barbecue tray just to allow for drip throughs and my little sort of tin foil sort of roasting tray that you just get from the supermarket, yeah? So this seems to work as a little setup. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'll just move that out of the way so I don't get any drips on. And if you remember, <coughs> we've been playing around with a bit of a series at the moment. So we did this one last weekend, which is reds and pinks. And then we've got one, which we've got our yellows. And that one's quite an intense, but we had these issues with all this sort of bobbling as well. Really, I quite like that one, which has got some gorgeous colours in there. We've still got quite a lot of bobble, because we're moving away from resins into pure paints. And we've got our real space one as well. Okay, so we're doing a little bit of a series at the moment. Right, so um, if you think about it, you've got to think in reverse because if we're putting everything on top of that, then that's going to be the last out. So that'll cover most of the orange. I want to do it the other way around, I think. So I'm going to start with the light orange as my base cup. As I say, you've got to think backwards. So I'm going to put that to one side on a little workbench. Um, and then I might add a little bit of black, actually, just to put some in between. So I'm going to add a little bit of black into that mix, just to break up the different oranges. You've got to think of it like a big sandwich in terms of layering. Then I'm going to empty this other orange on top. Remember we're just using disposable 250-300ml sort of uh, cups. Got these off Amazon as well, sort of stuff you buy for barbecues or picnics. And tongue depressors, would you believe? Yeah which you probably would get in a dentist, which are really cheap in a box off Amazon. And really good for stirring, little stirry things, and you can just chuck them away, so it's cleaning up. Then I might add, might add another little bit of black, which is boom for. Remember, we don't stir this up in a dirty pour. And then I'm gonna go with my other orange. I'm not sure we're gonna see any differences with this one. But we're gonna get that one in, into our cup. My able assistant, do you want to get that one poured in there? Okay. Well, I just scraped my orange out. Last bit in there. Tell me what's going first. Yeah, get all that black in there. It's quite thick, that one, actually, so it's going to need a lot of scoop in it. quite dark. Yeah. Do you want me to get the last bit out for you? Yeah. Okay. Bring that over. And obviously we're wearing appropriate clothing, so you don't want this stuff on your clothes, so a little art smocks, and also just disposable gloves. Again, I get all this sort of stuff off Amazon because it's sort of really cheap. Um, and then it's much, quite a messy affair, so I'm just doing this in our little makeshift garage workshop. Okay, right, that's all of those mixed up. I'm just going to put all the cups together out of the way, move that out of the way. You can see our pot. So we've got our black sitting on the top, you can see some different tones. You know, the cup itself is almost like a piece of art. Right, we'll get our canvas in position. Okay, what we're doing this morning, Leo, we're putting it in the centre and then lifting it off and letting it spill out. Or are you pouring it on, or what we're doing? What do Let's you do centre. Centre, right, so a little bit like tipping a cake out. I'm gonna put that in there, in the centre. Turn it over, give it a little, a little pop there, just watch the paint start. So you can just see if you're getting close there, Maya. You can just start to see the paint moving, dribbling down the cup. Give it a, we'll give it a bit of a swizz there for you. 
All right, are we ready? Yep. Okay, right, you tip that up. Whoa, get in there close with the camera. Trying to see inside the cup? Yeah, let's have a look inside that cup. That's almost like a piece of art in itself. Right, put that cup to one side then, Lebo. Wait, you seem to have made a green on the right, cup. Right, keep in close Ooh. then, because we're gonna, we're gonna start to work this now. Start to move it around. Don't want to lose too much of it off the canvas. This is why you use gloves. Got to try and get the corners. I tend to put my hand under because I'm wearing gloves, obviously, and then I can sort of manipulate sort of the uh, the pain. Key thing with this type of work is making sure it doesn't look deliberate. So if you are trying to place the paint, or you know, you don't like a particular thing, just be careful not to put your hands in it, really, because. Once you start to do that, it starts to look like you've really deliberately moved it around. It seems like the, co the colours of orange and black have kind of mixed a bit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is a and really this is here. a really nice one. So let's just get that moving there. Just want to try and fill the got a big gap in the middle, which is really annoying. And I don't want to touch it with my hand because I don't want. To have that really deliberate look, but I've got to fill that bit. Try and get the paint to move. Come on, give it a shake. Nearly there. Come on, paint. Try and fill that hole if I can. I'm going to go in there with my hands because I don't want to lose too much. Well, that's actually kind of made it look a bit better. I think that made that corner a bit brighter. Right. Okay, oh, touched it with my fingers on the corner there. I love that little bit of orange around there. Yeah, absolutely. Just trying to get this corner working. It seems to have, it seems to have kind of made it like a brownie colour. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. And in the cup, it seems like it's kind of got a green. Okay, let's just place that down. I just want to get that corner now. What I might do is no i was going to put some extra on out the cup at the bottom of the cup but we have got some left have we yes we actually do have quite a lot okay right i'm just going to use one of these tongue depressors i'm just going to get that on the corner a couple of pieces and on the edge and then just move that I think so far this one's came out great. It's looking good. Just not happy with that corner piece at the moment. Right, what I'm probably going to do now is take my gloves off and Today. No, I'm alright. Right, and now I'm going to use my Bunsen burner. Okay. okay, this is just a kitchen Bunsen burner. So, sort of stuff your caramel creme brulees with. You've got to be careful not to get too close. See all the little air bubbles popping. So I just want to. You see the silicon oil as. Creating these lovely sort of cells. And... Yeah, but the issue is sometimes these cells do develop into bubbles. Yeah, they do, that's right. So you've got to be really careful. Let's just work on that corner, good almost. I do just use my glove. And then we'll leave that for a bit and see how that settles. Quite happy with that one, that's a really unusual colourway. Very spacey, galaxy-ish in there, isn't it? Just don't like that corner. 
that's the bit where I've added some extra. Uh, but I couldn't get that paint it's to like, flow too much. So it's I can more always... of like an orange and black version of the Galaxy. Yeah, we can always we can always when we scan this into the computer, which is what we do next, make this a high resolution file. We can always crop that. Yeah, sometimes you even made them into scarf, which you can buy. Yeah, these are make these into silk products, which we'll probably show you in another video. Okay, we're pretty much at the end of this video now, so we're going to sign off. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.